Hey, what's going on guys? My name's Anthony, or Big B Stats, and welcome back to some more Fortnite console building tips uh, from my personal experience. Uh, and again, I'm gonna be showing you guys uh, some cool things you can do with pyramids. Uh, hopefully this will help you increase uh, your battle royale gameplay and just overall basic knowledge uh, of the building mechanic because I really like building in this game. So I'm gonna be covering pyramids. Now, let's start off with the simple one by one. Uh, this is great for kind of turtling up uh, as they like to call it. So basically it's just a one by one with a roof and a pyramid. Now this is super key. Let's say you're in a battle right now. Someone's contesting you for high ground. It's super good to kind of turtle up when they drop down you quickly break through and kind of build up and you regain high ground. So a very cool technique. I use it a lot in battle royale. You know, if, if things are, you know, going crazy and I, and you know, let's say a full team is shooting at me. Also try and use this scrim strat, uh, as I like to call it. It's pretty much again, you know, you, you're making these tunnels. Uh, that you, you'll see a lot of scrim players do this. If you've ever watched like the fall skirmish or anything like that, not just fall skirmish, any of the Fortnite tournaments, uh, you will see a lot of players do this. I've played a lot of scrim games. Uh, I've won one, uh, made second place a lot, uh, which I really enjoy playing them. It's a, it's a different type of game uh, and again it's a lot of fun playing them and this is a very good technique uh, because again uh, you need cover everywhere and you need to also confuse the player so don't mind ever doing this in a public game again I don't you rarely will see this in a public game but again if things get crazy and you're getting shot at a lot that technique will confuse your opponent this next one uh, is going to be, uh, again, uh, another very cool technique if you did not know this. This is uh, something that's, of course, been around for a while uh, before the, you know, before you could edit and see through stuff, but you can always do this with the pyramid. So basically, you just have a pyramid, and if you edit it, this is very good to kind of peek out and see where your opponents are. Again, works in scrims. Uh, it's a very good technique to use in scrims just in case, uh, you know, there's players around you and you can't see, you're not exposed, so you can't get shot from here. So again, uh, use this technique. Use it in Battle Royale. Uh, again, these techniques just don't have to be used in scrim games. Uh, it can be used anyway, like in, in any game, playground mode with your friends, anything like that. Uh, also, this is another one. Just making sure you kind of support your build. Sometimes I'll be in a battle royale and I see people just building just flat, you know, flat floors out. Now, again, if of course if you don't have the mats to to waste, uh, then then don't do this, of course. But you'll see you'll see this a lot. Uh, if someone is trying to shoot you down, you just add the pyramid for extra structures. But of course, make sure it is attached to something. Uh, you just can't build this out in the open. Of course, it will get shot down uh, and, and just fall. But uh, it adds that little extra uh, something again. Pyramids do it. Adds that extra. I guess, you know, safety to it. So make sure you use this. And again, use these pyramids to confuse your players. Don't feel bad if you're hiding in a pyramid at some point. Like, let's look at all these pyramids. Like, there's no way you could tell which one I'm in if that one was not building. So uh, it's quite hard to tell. So you can definitely lose your opponent uh, using pyramids. Now, sometimes I'll use this, uh, this little technique here. Whenever I'm in a build battle, uh, I tend to place a pyramid sometimes below me because let's say if I outbuild someone, uh, they're under me and they're trying to shoot me down. Uh, so I place a floor over them. Try and place a pyramid as well. Again, it adds that extra structure so they have to shoot through two builds instead of just one. So again, make sure you do that. Now I did talk about breaking through the pyramid technique, uh, which I'll try to link that video down below in the description. Very good technique to learn. And here's another technique to get high ground. Now this is a the ramp into the pyramid and you're kind of jumping on the pyramid. You can get high ground really fast this way so uh, it's may not it may not be the safest of ways but if you do this once or twice uh, and if you're able to do it in a build battle you can get high ground really quick even if you do it just once you can get high ground quite fast so you do this maybe do a couple 90s and you will be completely fine so that's another way to use pyramids uh, is to get high ground uh, back in a way now uh, this last one I want to teach you guys is uh, very very you know easy and simple um, you just have to kind of train yourself to do this in battle which I've, I've trained myself to do it in battle now uh, just kind of slow down and think about it and it's gonna be the trap kill now if you're watching this, maybe you've got caught with a trap kill. Maybe you've got caught yourself with a pyramid. I mean, I still get caught with pyramids sometimes, but I know how to counter it, so I, I tend to get out of the situation pretty quick. But let's say someone's built a ramp over you, um, and you're, you're on this side. Basically, all you want to do is just throw a pyramid over their head. Now, there's going to be a second where they're going to be above you for quite a bit, and 
sometimes people players just tend to freak out when that pyramids get hit they, they kind of freeze up i've i've fell victim to that as well someone puts a pyramid over my head especially early stages on playing the game and i tend to just panic it's like wait what i can't move and then by that time they've placed walls around you and they've placed traps so again uh, if you see a player and he, you get as soon as you see that ramp go over your head first thing you need to think about is do i have traps place this pyramid over the head first off place the pyramid over their head because that will stop the player anyway and then you can always build up and then here i'm just gonna show you guys some 90s because uh these are some good 90 degree turns that i've been practicing and i've gotten pretty good at so uh you know if, if you're a builder on fortnite you gotta learn how to do the 90 degree turns but let me know if you guys want to have any tutorials on how to do 90 degree turns again i uh, thank you all so much for watching hopefully you found some of these tips uh helpful and uh, yeah, hopefully it helps you improve your Battle Royale gameplay uh, just a little bit more. But thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.